Hello everyone and welcome to part three of Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. Now then. Ugh. I don't know what these thing what these fucking things are supposed to be. Giant ass rats. I really don't know. Honestly, I don't know why, but to me, they, they kind of look like the fucking liquors from Resident Evil 2. I don't know what the hell. They're so weird. bit hard to deal with. I'll switch to Alfred since he's actually going to be useful here. Uh, Alright, yeah, you press triangle to do that. What's cool is when you bring up his fire shield, I mean, Alfred's attack like, normal attack is practically worthless, but his magic is great, especially that, uh, fire shield. Because it, uh, it blocks projectiles, but it actually surrounds everybody, so... Even if you, you know, immediately cast a spell and then switch to a character, the fire shield will actually be around whichever character you're playing as. Which is really nice. It's a good way to, you know, defend with Alfred, but then attack with another character. Ah, God, just lost Miriam. And I gotta rely on Zongetsu. Eh, yeah. Uh, ow, shit. Ass balls, cunt, fuck. Tits. Ah. I didn't, I didn't know Zangetsu could turn around like that. Oh, sh Jesus Christ, I'm fucking just... Okay, there we go. I needed that. <laughs> Ugh, I was getting fucking destroyed. Ah, oh, fuck. Come on. Fine. Uh, God, he took too long to do it. Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I think you actually take damage from that explosion if they explode in your face. So you gotta move away whenever they... Uh, sh uh. Shit. Oh, got an extra life. Neat. If you do things the right way, you can fucking stock up on lives in this game. Of course, if you don't want to do that, you could always just play on casual, but... I'm not gonna do that. Well, I actually did play this on casual when I first played it, just to get a feel for it. But, uh... And I realized just how much, like, Castlevania it was, I'm like, yeah, I, I probably got this on, on Veteran. Pro probably not that hard, and... Nah, like, even if you're playing on Veteran, it still doesn't even, like, begin to reach the difficulty of the Castlevania games. Especially to the old ones, like, Castlevania 1 and 3, god damn, those games are fucking hard. And, and Dracula X on the Super Nintendo, I mean, that, that was the hardest one in my opinion. I'm just like, damn, dude. Like, Rondo of Blood was one of the easier Castlevania games. Especially if it... That can increase your health, but I don't have fucking Miriam. She died, so... Hmm. Fine. Fine, whatever, don't care, fine, fuck it, whatever. 
Uh, we'll say this this game does punish you a little bit though for for fucking up, but it's all good, it's all good. It's good, I'm good, we're good. You know, if you attack this guy's coins, not only do you attack his face, but you attack his coins, and that actually damages t him too. I don't, I don't know how the fuck that works, but... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, you, you attack his coins, and you attack him too. Ugh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Eh. It's a good thing his coins damage him, because... Sometimes hard to get up to his face. Do 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 do. Wee coin ride. Coin ride. Take it easy. Eh. Shit. Ugh. Get get the fuck up there, son. Get the fuck up there. Get the fuck on up there. That'd be great. Uh, what is this? I want attacking his coins damages him. So much easier to do as Miriam because she jumps higher and she's got longer range. Jesus, just die already, dude. There we go. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to dodge this. Uh, hope so. Yes. And got the extra life. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I, th I think I got this. One boss. One boss that always gives me trouble. And that's like that one vampire chick or whatever. That makes it rain blood. Cursed Sharbinder, you carry the power of numerous demons. They are perceptive of you. I require the demon's power to achieve my revenge. At this moment, or our objectives align. Cooperation would be fruitful for us both. So be it. I'll let you continue breathing for now. Jebel has become an ally. I, I, I usually call him Jebel, but it's like... Jeebel, Jeebel, I don't know, Gebel, I mean, nobody knows what the fuck to call this guy. Uh, I, th I think in the trailer they pronounced it Jeebel. But, um, I ain't even gonna bother reading these signs. Um, yeah. Well, I'm gonna be ending this part pretty soon. Um, in fact, actually, now I will. Uh, yeah. 
I don't know. It, whenever I talk, it, it goes freaking nowhere. Definitely goes nowhere fast. Um, so, yeah, I guess we'll just end this part here. Um, see you next time with part four. Bye-bye, everybody.